What's up everybody? This is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to send free SMS using SMS API technique in Java. So this tutorial is far more different than the previous one because in the previous uh, video tutorial, I use email to SMS technique to send the free SMS using Java. But now in this tutorial, I'm gonna use different technique that is SMS API so now let's start so before starting this video tutorial first of all we need the SMS gateway provider which allows us to send the SMS over internet so there are various uh, SMS gateway provider like Binet, bulk SMS etc but I am gonna use txtlocal.co.uk it's my SMS gateway so first of all we need to create the account in txtlocal.co.uk so open your browser go to txtlocal.co.uk and then uh, click on sign up and create the account in txtlocal.co.uk Include your name over here and the email address over here and then click on sign up with email after clicking on sign up with email a verification email will send to your gmail or email by txtlocal.co.uk my internet is a little bit slow so it takes some time now check your email inbox there you go there is your uh, verification email click on that link After clicking that link, a new web page will appear and you need to provide your detailed information. My internet is a little bit slow so it takes a little bit more time. there you go now uh, in this uh, waveform you need to provide your detailed information Click on this checkbox, accept term and condition, and then click on Victim My Account.
now your account is successfully created in txlocal.co.uk and you can use this account as your SMS gateway now after creating account in txtlocal.co.uk go to txtlocal.co.uk and then click on integration and then move on SMS API and then click on SMS API After clicking on SMS API, you need to uh, go to SMS documentation. And a new uh, web page will appear from this web page. From uh, left hand side of this web page, uh, click on send SMS and again click on send SMS. Top menu of the top menu of that send SMS and then examine the code over here. You need to select the language uh, from here. There are a number of languages and we need to select the Java. Uh, and examine this code here we need uh, api key message sender and number and we need to drag and drop for text field because we are uh, designing a java application using java web form so we need four text box and one button uh, because after filling all the field, uh, we need to send the SMS just by one click uh, from our Java application. So, open NetBean ID, go to File, click on New Project, click Java, Java application, click Next, and then uh, give the project name, click Finish. Now right click over here, click new and then click on JFrame form, click finish. Now drag for label and drop over here for API, message, sender and phone number respectively and drag for oh, text field as well for each field and then for SMS we need to drag text area and drag on button now change the text here goes number here goes message let's change this text field little bit and make it more large Now change the text of this text field and then change the variable name txt api txt sender 
txt number and finally txt method now go back to txt local dot co dot uk api dot txt local dot com slash doc slash send sms and copy this code from try statement and copy this and double click on this send button and paste over here now go back again that would be and copy the library file from here and then paste in the package section of this program and we need to input one more java file because here is the error in http url connection so import java dot live dot http url connection there you go let's comment this section of line and here We need to show the message over here so we can use the J option pen Again, here uh, we can use J option pen instead of system dot out dot print talent. dot so message dialog here goes no and here goes a now scroll up and we need to change the API key and message sender in phone number because we are taking the input from the user so and this is the static method and we need to take the input from the user so I remove this and txt api dot get text a similar process for all the text field I will txt number dot get text that's it so run this application after running this application as you can see here we need the api key so we need to create the api key from the text local dot code dot from your account so login to your account after logging in uh, to your account in text local dot code dot uk uh, go to setting, click on API key. and then click on create new api key you do not need to do anything over here just click on click create api key and then a new web page will appear and then you need to click on save api key my internet is a little bit slow uh, today so 
it takes much more time to fetch the website from the server and then click on save a new key so this is your API key copy this API key go back to your uh, running application and paste over here and type the sender name and type the number which is a country code type your message here and then click on send there you can see here is the message success so now let's check whether the message is received in that particular phone number or not so first of all let me connect my pc with my mobile there you can see my pc is connected with my mobile so scroll and there you can see there is one message click on that message there you there you go that is the message what i sent is message so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video don't forget to share this video with your friends and give thumbs up which really motivate us to make more video and thank you once again for watching this video bye bye